Welcome back. Well, changes are finally coming to Twitter to curb all of that abuse. The move follows some users holding a 24-hour boycott after the company temporarily suspended actress Rose McGowan's account earlier this week. She was vocal on Twitter after the Harvey Weinstein scandal calling out other actors who supposedly protected him. The company took action, however, saying she violated the Twitter rules by posting someone's phone number. However, her supporters boycotted the social networking service. And joining us to discuss the coming changes is Josh Constein from TechCrunch. Josh is joining us from San Francisco this morning. Josh, good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. And so all of this brought new attention to what's allowed to be said on Twitter, what's not allowed. So what kind of changes can we expect, Josh? Twitter has had a long-standing, huge problem with abuse. Despite its importance, <laughs> its business has struggled and it hasn't built the necessary tools to combat abuse and harassment. It can't even take down individual tweets, which is why it had to bluntly remove the entire account of Rose McGowan. But the Women Boycott Twitter movement has pushed Twitter to promise new rules in the coming weeks that will prohibit unwanted sexual advances, nudity, hate speech, and tweets that glorify violence. Yeah, but those eggs will still be able to exist, won't they? I, I know that all of us here, probably everybody watching, has been the victim of someone else's keyboard courage. But what are we supposed to do? How are we supposed to report this to Twitter if it really borders abuse? Twitter and Facebook are facing the same big problem. Trying to be a pro-free speech network actually just allows trolls to bully people into silence until these victims leave the apps. If you've been a victim of abuse, you should report it to Facebook and Twitter. But if they don't do anything to help you, post about it publicly so that these companies can't get away with permitting abuse. So put those Person companies on the spot is what you're saying publicly. I like that. And, exactly. And real quick, do you, do you think that the efforts are going to go far enough to protect people? I don't think that these are going to do enough to help because, unfortunately, Twitter <laughs> is a little worried that if it bans harassers, that people will leave its app. But it has to make itself more safe if it wants to grow into the true home for online discussion. I got to tell you, nothing gives me more anxiety sometimes than opening up my Twitter account and seeing some of those responses, Josh. Constine uh, from TechCrunch in San Francisco, we want to say thank you so much for joining us this morning. My pleasure.